In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your client's support requests. I will show you how to assign a ticket to another user, how to edit a ticket's details and categorization, how to set up filters so you can see your tickets just for you, and also how to set up a user with the ability to only access the client portal. You can assign a ticket from the Navras Ticket Console to a specific user by opening it up here and clicking on the Assign button. From this drop-down menu, you can select the engineer you want to assign it to. To edit a ticket's settings and categorization, you can do this by selecting the green arrow at the beginning of the line here, and you can set the different fields by choosing the options in these drop-down menus, as you can see in this example I have here. The options that are available in these different fields are already out of the box and have been done by best practices. However, if you would like to change these, simply go to the Settings tab, and along this line here, you can go through and modify, add, and remove the different options that you wish. As a technician, you may want to log into Navrisk and only see your own tickets. To do this, go to the Ticket Console, click on Enable Filters, and select yourself under the Assigned User. You can then click Apply Filters, and this will show you all of the tickets that are only assigned to you. From this view, you can then sort your tickets by their priority, simply by clicking on it. And here you can see the critical tickets and their current statuses. You can save this filter by clicking on Save Filter, giving it a name, and hitting Save. Then if you ever want to call this filter again, simply click it from the drop-down menu. With Navrisk, you can create limited access users. This also means you can create logins for your clients that can log in to see only their tickets, what devices you monitor, and a storage for documents related to your agreement with them. To do this, go into the Settings tab and go down to Users and Groups. Select the client you want to create this user under. Now first you'll want to create a user group. For an example, I've already created one called Client Portal. As you can see from the permissions, they can only see the Client tab and nothing else. Now I'll create a user specifically for that. As you can see from the example, I've created a user called John who has access to only the client portal. Click save and then you can log in with that user. So now I've logged in with the account I've created for John. As John, I can now see a list of all the devices I have monitored in Navrisk. I can see my current support tickets and their statuses and I can choose to create a new one if I choose. Or if I want, I can upload some of my documents to the server that are related to me and my MSP. For example, machine logons, history records of jobs, or perhaps even agreement documents. Before I logged into this, I also changed my Navrisk logo and added a little bit extra to it, as you can see. With the on-site version of Navrisk, you can modify your website images to personalize and rebrand Navrisk to the way that you want your clients to see when they log into Navrisk. For instructions on how to do this, you can find this under Customization inside the Navrisk Admin and Installation Guide. For any further support on this, please contact support at navrisk.com. This concludes our video.